He knows it. Of course I know it. Hey, I know it too. I'm sure glad I know it. The question is, do you know how many One Blood Mission heroes are certified in CPR? Hello, I'm Susan Forbes. And I'm Pat Michaels. Susan, it's time for One Blood Trivia. Of more than 2,500 mission heroes working at One Blood, how many of them know CPR? Is it 200? How about 500? Maybe 800? Higher? It's actually near 1,100. Wow, that means nearly half of the One Blood team knows CPR. I don't know about you, Pat, but I find that totally amazing. And you don't have to look far to find them because every single frontline team member at One Blood is certified in CPR. And some of them have had to put their training into action. You never know when you're gonna use it, so it's something good to have. You wanna know what to do and have a quick response. If we, have, we come up to an emergency, we can help by starting the procedure. Knowing it gives me confidence. If I do have to, I will. Our team members, let me tell you, they are amazing, amazing heroes. They truly are. They're not only saving lives with CPR on the job. Well, I think I was in the, in the right place at the right time. Sam Palaccio, a donor services specialist, jumped into action to save a man having a heart attack at the gym. And I just thank God I was there at that moment to help that day and do the things that we do every single day save lives. Well, you had the unique combination of uh, training and uh, a personality that wasn't afraid to put himself on the line. One Blood team leader Byron Kennedy had to put his CPR training into action twice, performing CPR on another team member who collapsed at work and then again when he was working at a blood drive. A car jumped the curb and hit a lady walking across the street. We just happened to be next to the accident, so we jumped off and ran and did a uh, CPR until the paramedic showed up. You never know what's going to happen. And if you have some type of training that can help someone out, I always feel like it's a good thing to do. One Blood team member Pan Feingold also saved a life, performing CPR on a young man who collapsed while she was working at a St. Petersburg donor center. It all came back, rushing back to me, how many compressions, how many breaths you needed to check for the pulse, to uh, call for that uh, AED as quickly as possible, to get 911 there to help save him. Well, you never know when you're going to have to use it, and it's a great tool, whether you're at work or at home, to have under your belt. That's what I want them to feel at the end of the day. I try to help, and that's what's important. The FDA actually requires that only one person at each donor center and on each Big Red bus be certified in CPR. But One Blood takes it a step further and makes sure that every frontline team member is certified in CPR. Learning and Development Supervisor Erica Sandoval is one of the 28 team members who teaches CPR at One Blood. And amazingly, she recently had to put her life-saving skills to use on her own mother. Yeah, that's right, Susan. Her mom was choking. But luckily, Erica was trained in how to perform not only CPR, but also the Heimlich maneuver, which was able to save her mom's life. It's a story she tells CPR trainees during each class. It's a little bit, you know, sometimes difficult to share, to kind of, you know, think back of what happened. Um, but it puts it into perspective for people as to why it's so important and why we do this. She was telling me that she was choking. Um, she was already starting to lose color. Um, you know, the first thing, of course, you think is, oh my God, this is my mother, right? Um, so you're trying to be rational, but at that moment, all I wanted was to save her life. So I grabbed her and I immediately started giving her compressions. My mom is five feet tall. Um, I had her almost at my height. You know, I was carrying her. You become just, you know, Superman at that point. Um, nothing, everything is, you know, weightless um, because you're just trying to save this person and all that adrenaline just kicked in and I grabbed her and I kept giving her compressions. I just kept doing what I was trained to do and all of a sudden she spit whatever she was choking on and she started to breathe. So, you know, it was, um, at that moment you just realize all I thought is thank you God because, you know, I learned this and I've been able to teach it and never thought that one day I would have to use it, you know, but here I am. So thank God for that, for that experience. All she kept saying was, you saved my life. Thank you. You know, and I mean, it's, I'm, I'm getting choked up. I'm trying not to, to get too emotional, but yeah, it's just, you know, she was just thankful that 
I knew how to do it that, you know, the situation turned out the way it did because of my training. That's an incredible story and it shows just how important the training is. It really is. It definitely saves lives and we want to thank Erica for sharing her story with us. And we also want to thank all the CPR trainers in learning and development. They are the ones providing the CPR training to all the new hires who will be on the front lines. Plus, each frontline team member also goes through recertification for CPR every two years. Now that was an enlightening show. It really was, and I feel like we are all in really good hands with over 1,100 team members knowing CPR. That's for sure. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and we will see you next time.